start in Albany, take a drive down Route 7 between Albany and Binghamton. See all the abandoned homes, the abandoned buildings, farms, businesses that have gone out. Just the last few weeks, a major business in Sydney went out. They've been trying to sell the place for a long time. The restaurants, there just isn't much going on in this area. The roads are deteriorated. It's really a shame if he saw the houses that were for sale. I mean, in the village of Unadilla and Sydney and Otigo, there's, you know, tens and tens of houses. In a population of four or 500 people, there's 30 houses for sale. I just would really like them to see this for themselves, and see how impoverished it is in this area. This area lacks the energy resources to attract new business, to build new housing developments, to build new businesses. The energy just isn't there. NYSEG has even announced that publicly. Natural gas or the construction of the Constitution Pipeline could mean thousands of jobs. And believe me, trickle-down economics does work. I've worked on pipelines. We spend thousands of dollars a day locally in businesses, not just restaurants, hotels, motels. I'm talking about lumber yards, hardware stores, welding supply shops, local garages, car dealerships, reconditioning shops, repair facilities. The amount of money that comes from these projects is incredible. 